Hey, my name is Sid from Thinkific, and today I want to talk to you about additional custom pages. Now previously, you had an external website and then you had your course site on Thinkific. Now with the new feature, you don't even need an external website. You can put all those additional pages on your Thinkific site by using this feature. The first thing I like to do always is to create an about page if I'm starting a new website. And the reason is a lot of people who visit your site actually want to first learn about you as a person before they have a look at your courses or before they decide to buy something from you. And it's just, if you think about it from the customer's point of view, you don't want to be going to a website without knowing who's behind that site. You want to kind of understand what that per where that person is coming from, why they've created the site, so that you can trust them before handing them some money. You, as a course creator, as the owner of the site, needs to build that trust with the customer. So creating an about page and telling your story is an important thing. Now, here are a couple points that you can put into your about page. Uh, maybe add some pictures about yourself, talk about your life, your personal story, talk about the journey that has brought you to where you are today and why you're creating online courses. Just to make it a little bit more personable and so that your customers can actually identify with you as another human being. Another great thing you can do with additional pages is to create a lead magnet page. Now we often t uh, tell people at Thinkific that before they create the courses, they should build an email list. This allows you as a course creator to have an audience already for when you launch a new course. And so you have people who are willing to already pay you when you launch something new. The best way to do this is to collect emails using a lead magnet. So this could be some sort of free content, you know, uh, a PDF, a checklist, an ebook, a free video course, or even an email series. Now with Thinkific, historically you can create free video courses. With the new additional pages feature, you can start creating a whole bunch of other landing pages that are not course related, and then you can embed an opt-in form in those landing pages. So if you're using MailChimp or ConvertKit as your email service provider or any other email service provider, you can take a form from, the, from your MailChimp site and then drop it into your Thinkific custom page and people can visit that page, read what the lead magnet is about and then enter the email to get the lead magnet. They get some free content from you, they learn from you, they sort of build some more trust with you before they go on to buy a premium course from you. The next thing you can do is to create an FAQ page. If you notice a lot of students coming and asking the same questions over and over again, and you don't want to have to keep repeating your answers to them, all you have to do is identify the most commonly asked questions and put it together in this one page. And so now everyone who visits your site doesn't have to actually email you each time they have a question. They can look at this one page, find the answer, and then go about their way. Another thing you can add to your Thinkific site is a testimonials page. Now on Thinkific, your online courses have a section where your students can add a review about that course. But let's say you're a coach, a consultant, you've been doing work outside of online courses. You probably have collected some good feedback from these people and you may want to add that as social proof to your course site. You can do this by creating a, a new page, call it testimonials and compile, you know, maybe a video testimonials or text testimonials from people into that one page. You can also advertise your services. So again, if you're a coach, consultant, freelancer, you can actually create a section on your Thinkific site that talks about these services. You can also build out a resources list using custom pages. So let's say you have a bunch of blog posts that you really want your students to read. You can put those all together, collect it into one list, put it on a custom page so that your students can go to that one page and look at them all. You can also add a contact page because even if people don't actually contact you, they want to know that you can be contacted and that you're an actual person with a phone and an address and an email address. So put all that information down on one page. And finally, if you have any other products or assets that you want to advertise on your Thinkific site, you can create a page for that. So for example, one of our course creators on Thinkific has a course on drone photography. And now what he's done is created swag, like, you know, maybe a sweatshirt. He has a t-shirt and a cap with his logo on it. And he now advertises that on a custom page on Thinkific. So people can go check out his other products and then buy them. You can create new custom pages on Thinkific and you can create a about page, lead magnet page, FAQ page, testimonials, services, resources page, contact page, or just about any other kind of 
uh, product related or uh, custom page that you want to build. So go ahead, check it out in the product. It's free on all plans. And if you don't have a Thinkific site, you can create one in just a few seconds for free. All the links for more resources are below. You can look at the blog post for more information or the knowledge base articles and uh, go nuts creating your custom pages.